What's up everybody, it's your boy Splash. Now, for this video today, lately in a lot of my videos, especially since I gained a bunch of subs, I've been heavily scripting them. Uh, but for this one, because it's a character that I pretty much know by heart by now, I don't really need to script much. So today we're gonna power scale Lobo from DC Comics at his best. So New 52 we're gonna ignore because it's a shitty version of him. But this is mostly gonna cover post-crisis, Lobo when he was wilding out. Now, Lobo, for those that don't know, he is a Zarnian, last of his kind for a reason. Um, but anyways, he's one of the best, if not the best, bounty hunter in every universe. And he's known for pretty much doing whatever he wants. The only time he gets serious is when he's given a bounty because he's a man of his word. Um, and this has led, he was actually made to make fun of Wolverine from Marvel, and he ended up being way more op than wolverine as well as as well as a funnier character and even stanley says or said rip that uh lobo was his favorite character so we're gonna go through the categories and kind of talk about the stuff he's done now strength wise we've seen a drunk lobo casually bully post-crisis superman who is desperately trying to fight him off so even while drunk and playing around lobo was literally physically too strong for superman to handle um, he's been able to thrash the entire Justice League by himself, including the likes of the Lan uh, Green Lantern, Flash, Martian Manhunter, Shazam, Superman. He bodied all of them. Um, and he's bodied multiple lanterns at once. Uh, in fact, Guy Gardner said that Lobo had more willpower in his pinky finger than Gardner had in his entire body. And seeing as the Green Lanterns, their power comes from will. Uh, that's ridiculous. Now, this would easily put his strength just by him casually bullying characters like PC Superman and Shazam. At least Universe, Universe Plus, uh, you can get it higher as he's had um, the attack potency to one-shot Skyfathers, but um, we'll keep it at Universal Plus, just base Lobo. Um, Speed-wise, Superman stated that when Lobo's serious in a fight, he can't even fathom his moves. So Superman, who can, who can somewhat keep up with Flash uh, and keep up with Shazam, although he's not quite as fast as them, um, he can't even register Lobo's move. That's how fast Lobo is. When Flash was trying to blitz him, Lobo was able to not only follow his movement, but calculate where Flash would be and catch him easily. He's also been able to react to and fight the entire Justice League at one time in multiple lanterns. So, yeah, clearly he's at least as fast as the Flash. Um, baseline and measurable speed. Um, you could put it higher, especially if you want to say, you know, that, that Flash is relative to the Flash that ran in the source. But um, anyways, he's at least a high level and measurable, seeing as Soups literally can't process how fast he is. Durability-wise, he's laughed at punches from Superman. Superman tried to hit him with a full-powered uh, heat vision blast. And Lobo laughed and said that his attacks were nothing to him. That's like baby food. Um, Shazam, pissed off, has tried to take out Lobo. And Lobo laughed off his hits. The Lanterns uh, stated that the best thing they could do to Lobo is to throw him out of the solar system. But they didn't want to because he would just come back and beat the crap out of him even more. Uh, he's, he's fast enough to blitz Skyfathers, as I mentioned. And... Um, not only this, he could take attacks from them, and he can regenerate from just one drop of blood. And even if every aspect of him is destroyed physically, he can use his soul to take over new bodies. So yeah, his dur his durability is ridiculous. Um, Intelligence-wise, he, when he was in his youth, created a virus that it completely eradicated his entire race just because he wanted to be unique. Um, it's well known that he knows over 17,000 languages. He can see any weakness in an opponent and make a strategy to take him down and instantly was able to understand and operate Dark Side's technology. So yeah, just his intelligence, if he applied it correctly, he'd probably be one of the smartest characters in DC Comics. He already is, but he just doesn't really use his intelligence that much because he's usually just walling out. But uh, yeah, as you can see, he's a super genius. Um, Skill-wise... 
He can calculate and time attacks against speedsters and other members of the Justice League. He's a weapons expert. We've seen him handle all sorts of weapons uh, just fine. He's a, he's a beast in hand-to-hand -hand combat. We don't really know his specific martial arts training, but he's good enough to body Shazam and Superman in hand-to-hand -hand, uh, consistently. And he's an expert with melee weapons, especially his chain. Now, hacks, abilities, and gear. This is where it kind of gets wild. So, as mentioned before, he has his godly regeneration factor. We've seen Lobo blow his own head off just to prove not only can he recover it uh, as fast as he wants, but he can literally fight you without a head. It doesn't matter to him. Um, he has resistance to reality warping. One time these two characters, God and Dave, who were said to control every aspect of their universe, brought Lobo there to fight in their like war games tournament. Lobo wasn't having it. They altered reality all around him, but they couldn't affect him, and he ripped their spines out and crushed their skulls without an issue. Um, he has his bike. His bike only reacts to him. His bike can hop dimensions, travel through dimensions, also work as its own defensive weapon uh, with its own built-in weapons. It can escape black holes, um, and it's very powerful. Now, his chain, he's been able to use it to harm Superman and Shazam, He's wrapped it around the neck of Shazam and dragged him around the planet. Um, he has mind hacks resistance. We've seen him uh, laugh at a neural genie that, um, or the genie, however you say it, that basically compromised every being in the universe except Superman. Um, he, this includes the likes of Martian Manhunter and Flash. Um, even his clone was able to resist the mind hacks of a, um, I, I believe it was Starro, and Starro has been able to get the Manhunter before. Um, as well as there is these um, intangible beings, they're they're kind of spirits, and they tried to literally plug into the mind of Lobo, and it didn't work, and he laughed at him. So we've we've never seen Prime Lobo's mind really get compromised in any way. So it it's it's almost out of the question to mind hack him. And Manhunter every time they fight doesn't even attempt to mind hack him. So kind of shows it's basically impossible to mind hack you. Uh, of course, that would be a no limits fallacy as, you know, if he's transcended, they could probably mind hack him, but we just haven't seen it. Um, he can time travel easily. He accidentally time traveled and dropped the bomb that uh, destroyed all the dinosaurs. Um, he could travel through dimensions, hop dimensions. Uh, he could create clones. So at one point, Lobo got so ridiculous that every drop of blood he spilt turned into a clone just as powerful as him. This was later on nerfed by, I believe, Brainiac. But yeah, so at one point he would let people make him bleed just to create the clones and bull on them. So it, yeah, it's it's absurd. Uh, he could take over bodies. When I was referencing this, I was basically one of the funnier moments in Lobo's history. He got destroyed physically um, and his soul entered a snail and he transformed the snail into Lobo. So yeah, he, <laughs> it's almost impossible to put him down. He's also at one point immortal. Um, essentially he got banned from heaven because he would start riots and he got banned from hell because he enjoyed hell so at one point he literally was immortal he would just come back um, he could track anyone anywhere uh, even through dimensions and timelines he can make weapons out of anything we've seen him make a weapon out of trash that was busting uh, planets at one shot so it's stupid how many weapons he could just make on the fly and he can actually punch souls on the astral level in intangible beings so anyways let me know what you think about the power of prime post-crisis lobo if you want to see him in a versus matchup give me a matchup down below and i'll look into it uh anyways like subscribe comment it's been your boy splash and i'll see y'all later peace